What's going on everyone, Kaifi here, back with another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a vortex um, in Photoshop. It's going to be like a little cartoon vortex, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and it's just a few simple steps. Um, it's super, super easy. So I just thought I'd make a quick little tutorial on how to do it because I find it um, cool. And I think it'd be useful for um, designs or graphics that you might be making. So first we're going to go down to the um, rectangle tool and you can fill it with whatever color you want. I'm going to use uh, like a darker blue um, and we're going to go ahead and make a rectangle. I'm going to actually make a square. So let's do um, 400 width and 400 height. Push enter and then I'm going to just center this. So now that it's centered, um, I'm going to go ahead and go up to filter, go to distort, and go to twirl. It's going to ask you to um, rasterize the shape, so we're going to go ahead and do rasterize. And then here you can change the swirl um, of that shape, as you can see, making a little vortex-like graphic. However, that looks pretty cool, but it's not quite what we want, so I'm going to push command Z. Um, I'm going to go to the color picker and select a lighter blue. Then I'm going to go to the um, brush tool and it's going to ask you again to raster the shape. I'm sorry, okay. And I'm going to create a line inside of this um, rectangle or square. And then after that, I'm going to go again to filter, distort, and twirl. And as you can see, now it's starting to create a little vortex like um, shape within the midst, which I think looks a little better. So I'm going to undo that, and I'm actually going to get a lighter blue than this to make it even make it stand out even more. Um, and I'm going to go in here and draw like a plus sign. And then I'm going to go back to filter, pack to distort, and back to twirl. And I'm going to set it all the way to 999 nine, nine angle, and push OK. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's created a vortex-like shape out of this um, rectangle by distorting it and using a distortion filter. So there are different things you can mess around with, like what happens if we do different colors. So let's do like a dark navy blue as one of the lines. And go back to the filter. I know my lines aren't very straight, I'm just using these as an example. We're going to go to distort and twirl. And as you can see, it's going to create like a multicolored vortex. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's super easy. It's, it'd be super fun to mess around with, um, with different colors, maybe even different um, rectangles inside of each other. But it creates a great comic-y looking vortex, um, which I actually think looks like a pretty cool design and could give your graphics or designs just that extra uniqueness and just a cool little factor to them. I hope you learned something. Um, please check out my other videos where I use different filters, whether to create Snapchat filters or um, to create a comic effect, um, but they're pretty cool. So yeah, go check those out. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe, and thank you all so much.